In early June, Perplexity launched one of the coolest features I've seen this year, and everyone slept on it. So let me introduce you to Perplexity Labs and show you why it's worth the pro subscription. So first off, when you head to the Perplexity chat box, here in the bottom you'll see this little light bulb, and then it introduces Labs to you. So you select that. But before I actually go and type a prompt in here, I just want to show you some of the things that it can do. So if you go to perplexity.ai forward slash labs, you have all these project gallery samples that you can reference here. And so like if we reference this global economic indicator tracker, you come over to here and it gives you just in a really cool charts. Here's all the sources up on top here. And then the pros around it sourced as well. But the really cool thing is you get to create an app and you can make choices and interact with the app that is built for you. So let's say I want to select China and guess what it populates China and here's Japan and Australia. It's just unbelievable that this thing has built out a fully interactive app for this particular data point. So very cool. And then you can further go down or you can select on these tabs here and make adjustments. It's just very slick, right? So that's just a really great example. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go create our own. And how are we going to write this amazing prompt for our perplexity lab inquiry? We're going to go over to ChatGPT and craft a prompt. In a separate video, I show you how to create a prompt for a prompt that you can use to write amazing Perplexity Labs prompts. So feel free to reference that video in the description. So in this case, I say, write a prompt for Perplexity Labs research project. The topic should be on the adoption of AI in US companies over the last four years. Perplexity should output an interactive dashboard app as well as full HTML for the most important chart so I can embed the chart into my website. So let's run this, and now it's gonna create an amazing prompt for me. So I'm just gonna copy this, and then let's move that back over to, okay, so we're back here in Perplexity Labs. Well, I mean, I have the Labs button engaged here, so I'm just gonna paste that prompt. This is not a quick process. This is gonna take nine minutes for this guy to run, so I'm gonna pause it for now, and we will check back with you when this guy is up and running. Okay, we're back. This took actually way longer than the nine minutes that it said it was gonna take. It took like 20 minutes, but you can see the prompt that I wrote in here. If I expand it, and then let's take a look at the output. So it gives you lists of sources here. Here are some of the charts that it's provided. Executive summary. Uh, more of the charts, and then I think if you go all the way to the bottom, let's keep up. Oh, there it is. And this is the HTML that I requested as well. So let's go up here and look at this app and see what actually what's happening here. Oh wow! Yep, it actually built an app. <laughs> it built an app. Ah, uh, what? Are you kidding me? So I can go through here and I can make changes to this, and it's going to populate the data. Okay, I got to see if this HTML is actually going to work here. So let's go test this. Bear with me here while we go down here and see. So while I was waiting, I went over to my site and I started this page here. I'm just going to customize it and let's go over to. So I just put two blank things here. We'll go into custom code and then custom code. And I just copied it right from here, just copied it from there. So I don't even, I have no idea what's what's even gonna show up in here, but okay, looks like lots of code <laughs> showed up in there. Okay, so let's save it and then let's preview it and let's see what we get. Well, I lost my colors for the title of the background. Oh my gosh, look, it actually created the HTML for one of the graphs. And look, you can like scroll over the bars and everything. That's amazing. Are you kidding me? Wow. So I love that. 
And then also, if you go over to Spaces here, you can create templates. There's templates that you can browse from you know anything from finance, technology, etc. I grabbed a couple of them, and I said, let's use this Open Research Explorer. And then if you want to go and see what that actually is comprised of, you just open up the Edit button there. And then you can see what the instructions are, and you, so you can make edits to them right there. And so you're basically creating your own private space of labs that you can have it go and do work on based on custom instructions. So that's Perplexity Labs. I just love it. I think it's the coolest thing. Uh, head over there. You have to have a pro subscription in order to get it and try it out. Tell me what you think. If you're into this sort of stuff, subscribe and I'll see you next time.